Many of the people we feature in our Lone Star Spirit segment and Texans through and through, they are Texans through mm. and through, and some have lived their entire lives right here in Houston. But you don't have to be a native Texan to show Lone Star Spirit. Tonight we meet a young man from Singapore who came to Houston for his education, but is giving back to our city through his passion for polo. When Amir Dumaboy was deciding where in the U.S. to go to college four years ago, he had plenty of choices, including prestigious universities in the Northeast. He chose Houston and Rice University largely for a reason few students consider. Here, along with a quality education, he can play polo. For me, I've always seen polo as a passion and an intense hobby. I think that the Houston Polo Club really has one of the greatest ecosystems and most complete um, you know, polo organizations I've seen in any club. Amir is from Singapore, where his father played polo and his grandfather played. Here in Houston, he leads his own team called La Cerita, which competes in tournaments worldwide. Once in Australia, I uh, played in Argentina, of course, uh, Pakistan, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, uh, the U.S. Polo is admittedly not a sport for the masses. Simply owning and caring for the horses, Amir has three of them, costs tens of thousands of dollars. It's also dangerous. Yeah, I've broken uh, the toes in my right foot and I've broken my left wrist twice. Uh, I've been knocked out countless times. But Amir wants to change the sport's image. Through charity tournaments and even modeling, he hopes to broaden the appeal of polo, much in the way Formula One racing, another sport for the rich, has become a worldwide phenomenon. My real uh, mission with polo is to more people, which is why location is so important, uh, as well as raise as much social awareness as possible. More than anything, Amir Jumaboy sees polo as a way to do good. He has raised more than $200,000 to treat sick children in Houston and envisions a world where charity polo tournaments, much like golf or tennis, raise millions for sick kids and cancer research every year. When my dad got cancer and then six weeks after him, his sister got diagnosed with breast cancer. That was kind of my awakening. Amir graduated from Rice University on Saturday with honors, but says he's staying in Houston because the economy is good here, there's a world-class polo facility in the middle of town, and because people in Houston have good hearts. I think Houston's an interesting city in the sense that you can be somebody like me who has no connections, doesn't know a single person in the town, but when you're trying to accomplish something and do something that helps to complete the ecosystem of the town, whether it's an arts festival or a polo charity game or what have you, there are going to be people who are going to come to you with an olive branch and open up their resources and help you achieve your mission uh, as long as it's for a good cause. He particularly has a heart for kids with cancer and four kids here in the Houston area. He's raised more than $200,000. Wow. Not bad for a guy who just graduated college Saturday. Not so. bad at all. You yeah. can't hate him because he has good looks. You <laughs> no. know? He's doing good things in the <laughs> That's community. Right. If you know of someone who shows Lone Star Spirit by overcoming tough odds in life or by helping others, I'd love to hear from you. You can find Don on Facebook and Twitter or you can email him here at the station at don.teague at foxtv.com.